what is the meaning of 25 or 6 to 4? 25 or 6 to 4 is a song by Chicago which was written by Robert Lamb, who is a keyboard player and singer for Chicago. Most songs that were written, especially in the early days, whenever I got them to the band and we started rehearsing them, that's when the songs took shape, once these guys got hold of them. There was definitely a lot of raw material, I thought it was a song when I wrote the words down, I wrote the changes down and I brought the charts to rehearsal, but it wasn't really a song until they all played it. This quickly became a showcase song for Chicago's horn section, which featured on many of their hits from the 60s and 70s. Three of the founding members that have been with the band since its inception are trumpet player Lee Lock Nine, sax player Walter Parieter, and trombonist James Ponko. There are a lot of unsubstantiated rumors regarding the meaning behind this song's lyrics. A popular rumor is that 6 to 4 was a nickname for LSD, because if you dropped acid at 6 p.m., the effects of the drug would wear off by 4 a.m., 10 hours later. This still gets a lot of play by college pep bands. The horns and tempo make it a great fit for sporting events. The band was previously known as Chicago Transit Authority, which was the name of their first album. They shortened their name after the actual Chicago Transit Authority objected and began releasing albums with their name followed by a Roman numeral, Chicago 2, Chicago 3, Chicago 4, etc. They did this throughout their career, even as they morphed from horn-driven rock to adult contemporary ballads, hard for me to say I'm sorry. Baby what a big surprise, in the 80s. This is usually the last song Chicago plays at their concerts. On their tours with Earth, Wind, and Fire, both bands usually play it as the encore. So what does 25 or 6 to 4 actually mean? It's about trying to write a song, with the title referring to the time of day, either 3.35 a.m., 25 to 4, or 3.34 a.m., 26 to 4. Lamb explained on the Chris Isaac Hour, I was living with a bunch of hippies up above Sunset Strip. One of the advantages of this particular house was that it was in the Hollywood Hills and I could look out over the city late at night. I wanted to try to describe the process of writing the song that I was writing. So, waiting for the break of day, searching for something to say, flashing lights against the sky, there was a neon sign across the city. That song came from the fact that it was 25 or 6 to 4 a.m. in the morning when I looked at my watch, I was looking for a line to finish the chorus. Chris Isaac was told by Lamb that he checked his watch to see the time as he wrote the song. However, Mix Magazine reported in 2019 that he had looked at an antique clock on the wall of his 1920s bungalow which explained his confusion over the minute. I couldn't tell where the hands on the clock were pointing. It was 25 to 26 minutes before 4 a.m. I didn't think that I would be able to retain those words. I was expecting to replace those words with actual lyrics. It worked out okay, he stated.